Hey guys, uh, today will be an attempt, I'm not saying a success, to convert one of these adapters from DC to AC output. You know, this is AC to DC, but if you need to convert one into AC, that will be 12 volts and 500 milliamps and all that other stuff, we need to convert it and it needs to be one of those that has the coil inside, not the electronic ones. Is those don't work good luck with that and this one i'm gonna attempt to do just that to convert it from ac to ac instead of ac to dc and to do that first of all i have to crack it open somehow and that may not be the easiest thing i ever done but i will try and uh, i'll just start And uh, looks like it's out of the shell because of course they had to glue it here on top too. And uh, after just a few very lovely and gentle taps, it actually gave up. And uh, here's the coily stuff in this inside that's supposed to be uh, 10 to 1. If it's 120 down to 12, that means that this side should be 120 coils or rolls and should be 12 here or whatever the case is i'm not gonna go into that much detail so what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna desolder the uh connection points right here let me get a screwdriver so you can see better these are our connection points here to the coil itself as you see that goes from under there uh, i'm not sure if the camera is doing a great job but you'll see those two going one there and one there and i will desolder these two wires from here because they will go from here to directly here Let's do just that now. And now they're desoldered from the board. So this is the board and uh, that's a nice bridge actually. I will save it for other projects. Is these things are quite valuable if you need one and it looks like it's in pretty good shape so far and yes this resistance here is just discolored but not really burnt or anything like that and i'm gonna put it on the side for future projects and here we have to connect these two wires right here as you see that's how it goes and since we're going ac to ac polarity doesn't really matter at this point so now let's it's just a matter of me finding some uh, solder and uh, let me just start this one up and it it should be a fairly easy thing to do should not be very complicated or anything too big Okay, the soldering is not the best you ever seen, and probably a lot of you will comment that, oh, I did it wrong, I didn't do it good, all that, that's fine. I am actually very open to criticism and uh, suggestions, and for anybody out there that's an electrician, may not like what I just did here. But, I'm gonna see if it works, so, uh, yeah. I'm gonna plug it in and test here at the barrel and see the voltage. That'll be my only way to see if it worked or not, or this was just a waste of everyone's time. And I will see it just now. We'll put the cover back on because now I'm talking about straight up exposed wires here and I don't like to touch them. Even though it's not gonna kill me instantly, but why take that risk when you can prevent it, right? Let me put this back on. Okay, it's still broken there, but it's fine. As long as it insulates from my hands, I'm happy with it. Okay, it's plugged in and nothing has exploded yet. That's a very, very good sign. And now let's put our meter and see what the numbers are okay should be under 20 for sure and usually i assume the middle pin is uh uh positive and the outer pin negative but not always we have to see on the on this uh on the casing right here you'll see this little diagram here that says the middle pin is positive the outer pin is negative 
So yeah, I was correct on my assumption. Let me plug it back in and see where we are. Okay, let's plug back in. And uh, let's go in with this one. Okay, let's see if it produces anything. This is on the AC, by the way, as you see right here on 20 and we have 12.5 which is beautiful i am very happy with this one 12.5 that's what i was looking for and it is a c so in my opinion i call this a success and here i have a one of those doorbell cameras that requires uh ac current in inside and i'm gonna try if it works i think they work from 12 volts or 9 volts to 24 you know with the old bobbins or coils whatever you want to call them from uh, the old times but i'm gonna try if i can make it work with our homemade recipe here and uh, let's see if this light should turn on. I don't know what color, but it should turn on some color. Okay, let me attempt to make this one connect there. I'm gonna be easy. And as you see, the color came in. That means we have AC voltage coming out of this uh, barrel. And to me, this is a success. So that doorbell is working and those lights are going through i guess at this point i'm supposed to pair it with something there's lights and clicks and all that going through it but i'm not gonna pair it here i will review that uh, light or doorbell camera uh at another video and uh, let me disconnect it look at that it's actually working okay i'm gonna disconnect it because w the reason i converted this one here is that i wanted to make this one work with something that plugs on the wall something that i could just plug in and just start working and looks like we achieved that and i searched a lot of videos i couldn't really find something straight up answer converted ac dc to ac ac how hard is that it must be one of these uh adapters with the big coils inside whatever you want to call that uh that is heavy the class 2 i think they're called yeah class 2 power supply and uh it must have this whole thingy inside here they're very heavy because the electronic ones or the new ones digital they're not gonna work so don't even bother with them it only works with these older ones or class 2 and you saw how easy that was to do and now what i'm gonna do with the doorbell when i review how this doorbell works and all that i might install a female at, at this point or under it or somewhere that actually i can just plug it in and use this just a as a regular uh camera a regular security camera not really as a doorbell because i already have one but this is beautiful and to buy this ac to ac for some reason they want a lot of money online I, I don't understand why when you could buy one of these for cheap and convert it yourself at home and now you have a free bridge right here it's that's beautiful in my opinion and anybody can do it but i have to give you a warning or disclaimer whatever you want to call that that anything i've done on this video is for educational purposes only so if you cause fire if you cause injury or any other thing i am not responsible for any of it i am here just to teach you how i did it and you saw it with your own eyes that it worked so please if you don't know what you're doing call somebody that knows electricity or electronics a little bit more and tell them to do it and they will understand right away what this video is about and with that said we'll see you next time bye